falling up the stage. Like,
right, good. I know them parents trying to come in.
May everyone please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and continue standing for the singing of our national anthem. Okay, my name is uh, Terrell Newley. I'm student ambassador of class of 2022. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight blessed gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the rampart we watched were so gallantly streaming. Good evening, Dr. Hackett, Ms. Tribbett, members of the Board of Education, administration, faculty, staff, honors guests, parents, and friends. Welcome to the commencement of Willenbar High School graduating class of 2022. <laughs> Graduates, you may see. At this time, I would like to bring Thomas Ford, our student council president, for a welcome. Good afternoon, parents, families, staff members, dignitarians, board of education, and the class of 2022! We are finally graduating after four long years. We finally made it to the finish line. Even though these four years have been like no other, I wouldn't change it for the world. All the challenges and obstacles that we face will make us better in the future. I know it may seem like cliche, but it's going to be worth it. Even though we may feel like we don't know what the future holds, all the lessons we learned from the past will prepare us for this moment. I am extremely grateful to have been your student body president for this year. My goal as student body president was to revive the school spirit and uni within the community. Entering, I think the most important part of high school is seeing growth and development. I've seen many of my peers grow and develop from young teenagers to young adults. 
it seemed like just yesterday we was all still in eighth grade fighting over which team was better, Princeton, Columbia, or the actual best team pen. Most of us coming into high school really didn't know what to expect. I don't think anyone expected our four years have been the way they were. Freshman year, we were still all young teenagers, getting a sense of direction. I remember the feeling waiting outside the double doors every day. We would all be bunched atop each other, especially during the winter time. My favorite part of freshman year had to be the upperclassmen. I would make sure I came on time every day so my spot was reserved by my favorite senior. Besides the upperclassmen, freshman year was filled with laughter, lessons, and growth. By the beginning of sophomore year, we already had a sense of high school. We weren't necessarily lower classmen or upperclassmen, just there. Sophomore year was also the year we left during quarantine. Junior year was mainly virtual due to our quarantine. However, that didn't stop us. Many of us were balancing school with work, jobs, and clubs. That's just one incident that shows you grow from teenagers to young adults. The last four years at the high school have definitely been interesting. Our senior year was not what we expected. However, we made the best out of it. The challenges we face are going to be less harsh because we've been through this. I just want to name all the obstacles that we face. Quarantine for two years, change administrative, social change, physical change, mental change, and some of us lost loved ones. These are all the characters to build a strong warrior. I just want everyone around to turn to the crowd real quick and say, I did it. Say it one more time. Say it loud and proud. Say you did it. I did it. All right, now crowd, I want you to say, you did it. <laughs> say it one more time for it. One more time for the class of 2022. You did it. And if you lost a loved one, I want you to look up to the sky and say, I did it. I did it. I challenge everyone, maybe not today, but I want everyone to write all the accomplishments from pre-K to now. Just soak in the fact that you did all that hard work and it paid off. This is not a goodbye, but it's a new beginning. Lastly, I would thank all the students because you truly made a difference in my life. I would cherish the moments, the relationships, and the greetings from all of you. The staff at Willow Bar High School, particularly Ms. Gaines, Ms. Bright, B Money, Ms. Brown, Ms. Fields, Mr. Mims, Ms. Hippowitz, Officer Thomas, and more. And last but not least, Mr. Gary Nelson. I would also like to thank my mother and father, along with my three sisters, Brianna, Tierra, and Jasmine, who supported me over the years. I want to also shout out my bus driver from freshman year and sophomore year because she gave me a ride, even though I would not belong to that bus. <laughs> However, I want to end with this quote. No matter where you are, make sure someone can see your character. And always, always remember, never change yourself. 2022, out. And now I introduce to you our senior class president, Gina Armstrong. Yeah, Gina! Yeah! Yeah, Gina! Ms. Armstrong! Let's go, G. Good evening, parents, faculty, relatives, community members, and friends. Most importantly, good evening to the class of 2022. We really did that, like, oh my goodness. I'd like to thank you for giving me the opportunity to write this speech. This year has gone very fast, but has also felt very surreal. We've gone from, when is this gonna end? To, oh my gosh, we're moving too fast. To, yo, I'm actually graduating. Part of the reason is because we've had two years where we didn't see each other. We went from sophomores to seniors within a quick five minute nap between glasses, classes on Google Meet. The only regret I have is not fully experiencing high school with each and every single one of you. 
so I have deeply enjoyed every moment of our senior year. Plus, we owe a lot of thanks to the people in front of us today. I'd like to thank all of you who have been there for us on this journey. Parents and guardians, thank you for waking our butts up at the crack of dawn so we can get ready for school. Especially thanks for waking us up so we can hop on the Google Meet during COVID and go right back to sleep when you close our bedroom door. Thank you to our teachers and staff for educating us and pushing us to try and go above and beyond. A special thanks goes to Ms. Grav for putting at least eight primary sources in a class assignment so we could just answer one question and turn it in. <laughs> Thank you to Ms. Powell because I have finally realized how much a 75 can really pull down your class rank. <laughs> Thank you to Mr. Smith for making his room 25 degrees so we can get the full effect of how cold Europe was in the 1500s and torturing us with the urge to fall asleep in that climate with our hoodies and sweaters on, showing a 45-minute documentary that felt like it was six hours. But hey, good times, right? <laughs> Thank you to Mr. Orlando for having one of the weirdest, most wholesome feuds with Miss Gaines. Hope you get that rumored six-toe situated. A genuine thank you to MVP for helping us realize that sometimes it's okay to not be okay and to always ask for help when you need it. Ms. Gaines, thank you for supporting us, even though each math lesson you taught just went off on a tangent. Thank you, Ms. Collins, for keeping it a thousand percent real and always sharing the tea. Thank you all to the lunch ladies that gave us two or three lunches in our many disguises. And thank you to the guidance counselors who have worked hard every day of the year to make sure we could walk. The absolute biggest thank you goes to B Money for being the dopest advisor that has ever stepped foot in Willenboro. <laughs> Stay blessed and prosper. And thank you finally for the football team and track team for distracting those freshmen. Throughout our four years, we've had our ups and downs. Freshman year, we watched Griselli absolutely slay in the talent show, singing If I Were a Boy. Sophomore year, we dominated Spirit Week with our awesome X-Men hallway. Then we were sent home thinking it was gonna be two weeks. Junior year, we all slowly closed our Chromebooks whenever a teacher asked to turn our camera on, knowing very well we just woke up hit in our bonnets and do-rags. Like, come on now. Class of 2022, keep the same energy you've always had. Anias, stay running to that paper. CJ, keep throwing those balls. Ruby. <laughs> Ruby, stay exactly the way you are, because you've been that girl. <laughs> and Nicholas, thank you for being the best class crush. <laughs> but if there's anything we should take from this bittersweet moment, it's that graduation is not the end, but the beginning of an entire new chapter ahead of us. On our journeys, we will be challenged, and sometimes we might even be pushed close to our limit. Remember to always keep your head up and let the shine of that crown blind everybody who tries to drag you down to that level. Class of 2022, we big fish now. At this time, I would like to bring up our Honorable Miss Kaya McIntosh for her mayor, mayor of remarks. Well, good evening, everyone. I am Kaya McIntosh, and it is amazing that I'm on the stage after almost 30 years graduating and now representing this township as mayor. The, thank you. The, the graduates will get their accolades, but first, I wanted to give a huge kudos to the parents, guardians, mentors, teachers, counseling, counselors, staff, administration, and school board for the job you have done in rearing these young adults. I am grateful for what you have poured into our youth in order to provide a foundation by which they are set up to become productive adults. You know, when I came, I didn't feel old until I began to reminisce about my high school years. And I walked these hallways just now, and class of 2022, I'm hating on you a little bit. <laughs> I have to be honest. 
I'm a little mad that y'all have Google to do homework, reports, and projects. We had to ride to the library. We had to open a book. I had to look through the Dewey Decimal System pertaining to my subject matter and flip to so many pages just to take notes. If we were lucky, we had a set of encyclopedias and you better hope that you had all the letters. <laughs> Class of 2022, I'm hating you on you just a little bit. We had typewriters. You have Microsoft Suite, Windows. We had to use word processors. And God forbid you, for, you messed up one word. You had to do the whole page over again. And I'm just a little salty. You got cell phones. We had, during my graduation, we had disposable cameras. You might have gotten lucky with a Polaroid. So your pictures are going to be awesome. My pictures had half a head, dark lenses, <laughs> you know, wrong poses, red eyes. So you know what? I, I hope you understand that the technology that you have um, gives you many more opportunities than what we had. And I don't know, Shay, I don't know, what was the number we had for snow days? 672? It was, yeah. I don't know how I remember that, but 672, we had to wait <laughs> on the radio or the news and watch to see, and it would be 671, 673. <laughs> and so we didn't even have the same amount of snow days. <laughs> also, what were y'all rocking? We, when I graduated, we were rocking Method Man, Biggie Smalls, Nas, Mary J., Dr. Dre, Boys to Men, on cassettes and CDs. Y'all can just download whatever y'all want. Who do y'all who do y'all have? Little Baby? Who, Little Dirk? All right, Polo G? A Boogie? Okay, they're good, but I'm not hating on y'all for that, because I like my music better. <laughs> but in all seriousness, you will hear lots of advice today. The only thing that I would like to impart to you today is simply, you are enough. And I want that to resonate within you. You are enough. This life has many ups and downs, many trials and tribulations, many accomplishments, and many failures. But in those, I need you to understand that you are enough. Quite simply, you are enough. You have everything within you to accomplish what you want. And I ask that you just take time and a quiet space to really figure out what your purpose is and walk in your purpose. And as long as you're in alignment with your purpose, you are enough. And while you are out in the world living your best life, don't forget your little hometown, Willenboro. Make sure you stop back every so often and share your experiences, your learnings, and all, that, and all your new um, your, your, your new uh, trades. Make sure you come in and pour into the future classes of the Willenboro High School as those who have poured into you. And on behalf of the Township of Willenboro, we love you, we are proud of you, and we wish you continued success. Congratulations on your graduation, class of 2022. <laughs> At this time, I would like to present to you the student addresses, Donald Toussaint and Nasa Douglas. Welcome family members, friends, administrators, teachers, and graduates who have helped making today possible. I want to start off by thanking God for my life and for helping me to get here. I also want to thank my friends and family for the love and support. Uh, I'm so thankful for my parents, siblings, my grandma, aunts and uncles, and my tennis team, which I had the pleasure of being captain of this year. Thank you also to the family, friends, and mentors that have gathered here today to support the class of 2022. If it wasn't for your help, this wouldn't be attainable. I also want to say this. I know some of us have lost loved ones during the pandemic or your entire high school journey. I personally have lost some very close people in my life and I would give anything just to see them here with me. 
but I know that in this moment, they are very proud of us, of the people we have become. And if they were still here today, they would be screaming from those stands. So a huge thank you belongs to them. Uh, some people I'd like to shout out, um, Ms. Ortiz. Um, she was everything for me. I was in her classroom literally every day. And she was someone I can lean on, especially when times were tough. She always had the best advice and jokes. Someone else I appreciate is Ms. Gaines for all the extra work she gave us. I may not have liked the work, but it helped me to learn a lot of things and improve my work ethic. I would also like to say thank you to the class of 2022 for your hard work and perseverance that made this possible. As I look out amongst the graduates, it brings me back to freshman year and how we were trying to fit in and figure out who we were. What a journey we went through, but it has shaped us into the people we are today. I know this sounds cliche, but we made it. We made it through almost three years of schooling and a pandemic. It wasn't easy at all. There are some people who aren't graduating today because they either lost their lives to COVID, gun violence, or even had to drop out of high school to help support their families. But through it all, we persevered, and now we can officially say that we've made it. I want you all to take a moment and look around you. Just breathe it in and be proud of yourselves. This is a huge accomplishment. One of my close friends once told me, we all take different paths in life, but no matter where we go, we take a little of each other everywhere. As we move on to the next stage of our lives, whether it be college, trade school, the workforce, army, Marines, and more, I want you to continue to fight. The same way you fought to continue your education, even with the world in turmoil, I want you to continue to carry on the same work ethic. Don't give up and don't let anyone tell you what you can't do. Because if you made it this far, I know there's nothing you can't do. When we leave here today, we will have our future in our hands. The beginning of our lives have been molded by our parents and teachers, but after we walk across this stage, everything we do is our choice make wise decisions because they can either have a negative or positive impact in your life. Life isn't easy, so we need to have people around us to look out for our best interests and push us to be the best we can. Make sure that your community is made out of people that you can lean on when times get tough, because rest assured, they will. Growing up, my dad always said one thing that I will share with you today. Nothing good in life comes easy. If it's easy, run far away. That being said, treasure these memories you had here at Willingboro High. We are leaving a legacy behind whether we realize it or not. Walk out of here and feel proud of all the things you accomplished over the last four years. I'm going to leave you with a quote as I close. You miss 100% of the shots you never take. So don't be afraid to chase after your dreams Take every opportunity that comes your way and face the future with optimism. I wish you all the best in your very bright futures. Congratulations, class of 2022. students, parents, to my fellow peers, now graduates, we made it! <laughs> Not only did we make it to the end, but the beginning of a new journey that starts at this very moment. Before I begin, I want to thank a couple of people who helped not only me, but a lot of us get through these crazy years. I want to thank my family and friends for shaping and guiding me in the right direction, no matter what. Thank you, mom and dad, for always believing in me and sacrificing so much, giving me opportunities so I can stand where I am now. I personally come from a Caribbean immigrant family, so I know for a fact I'm on everyone's WhatsApp and Facebook group right now. So hi, WhatsApp and Facebook. If you have foreign parents, then you know. I want to give a special thank you to Kaz. Many of us know Ms. Kaz, Coach Kaz, Mr. Kaz. The list is endless. <clears throat> He was not only our gym teacher, but he taught many of us how to play our favorite sport. 
how to drive, was our English and math teacher at some point as a substitute, and became a good friend in the process. He is one of the only teachers that stuck by us in a more personal way throughout our four years here, even throughout the pandemic. Oh, you want me? Okay. <clears throat> it's fine, everyone. It's fine. Uh huh. Keep going. I'm going to keep going, regardless of the static. It's fine. Y'all can hear me. But for anyone who didn't hear the last two lines, I wanted to give a special thank you to Kaz. Many of us know him as Kaz, Coach Kaz, Mr. Kaz. The list is endless. He was not only our gym teacher, but he taught many of us how to play our favorite sport, how to drive, was our English or math teacher at some point as a substitute and became a good friend in the process. He's one of the only teachers that stuck by us. Okay, there we go, there we go. He's one of the only teachers that stuck by us in a more personal way throughout our four years here, even throughout the pandemic. I wanna thank Mrs. Gaines for being more than patient with all of us, even when sometimes we really didn't want her to. Teaching a bunch of muted teenagers pre-calc over a Google Meet and having us look her dead in the eyes and say, I have no idea what I'm looking at. But she never showed an ounce of doubt or anger through it all. She was like that one teacher you didn't want to disappoint because it would hurt you more. Thank you, MVP, our Making Visions Possible program for helping probably every single graduate for getting us here right now. Endless walk-in rants, vents, group sessions, and after-school activities really helped us throughout high school. I, without MVP, I think I would have lost my mind. Thank you to Culture and Climate, for trying to make our senior year as fulfilling as possible in such a short amount of time. Thank you to Ms. Brown, Ms. Bright, B Money, and Ms. Clark for allowing us in your offices to talk about life, college, and request transcripts about 100 times for days on end because many of us didn't know how to prepare for college or life after this year due to not having much contact with anything or anyone in the middle of our high school career. Class of 2022, our only full years of high school being our first and last. How did they expect a group of freshmen to come into a new building, not understanding an A and B day schedule, to having us literally teach ourselves our sophomore year, since no one knew how to teach online yet, to making us sit in Google Meets our whole junior year, while we hoped that our senior year wouldn't be like the last two graduating classes, to now coming back our senior year in school, having to be the role models and show underclassmen how high school should really be? I have no idea how we did it, but we did and we're the first class to do so. This just goes to show how adaptable we really are, which is why I know this class will do extraordinary things. We've always been that way, adaptable. A pure example being when they put all of us at 12 and 13 years old into one school for sixth grade. It was the first time many of us had to adapt to something big. We had to make our own friends, keep up with different subjects for different teachers, and we were on our own. We've adapted to uncertainty, which can be a negative or positive depending on how you see it. I think with this class, we take it as a positive thing. 
Albert Einstein once said, the measure of intelligence is the ability to change. I believe that this means we must be an extremely intelligent class, considering how much change we've experienced and how we maneuver through it all. Even though we may not know what's next to come and how difficult the process may be, we would know that we are going to come out victoriously. Even with the mindset of coming out victoriously, uncertainty sometimes blinded us to what was happening around us. This included opportunities that were and around us since we became engulfed in social media, but that's because we only, that was our only sense of reality that we've had for a long time. So parents, cut us some slack for always being on that phone. <laughs> Sometimes it made us unsure if we could qualify to participate in certain activities or made some things seem boring and not worth it. But I encourage you all, including myself, to break that cycle starting today. We are no longer students who should do clubs because it would look good on a resume. We need to get more involved and soak up every opportunity in our face. We became less and less involved over the years, so I want us to put an end to that. No matter if you're going to college, a trade, the military, or taking time off for yourself, get up and involve yourself in the community. And no, I'm not talking about around here. I'm talking about the new environment we will be entering and creating after we leave this field. We've always been the class to do what we wanted to do, regardless of who's trying to stop us and how they felt about it. So take that same energy and apply it everywhere you go as you participate in what's going on. No more waiting around and saying, that's boring and I don't wanna do that. We're too grown for all of that now. The pandemic went to show how we never know what could happen. So we need to make the most of everything as soon as we can. The world around us is changing rapidly and to most is becoming more scary and alarming. Participating in your community and doing those activities that you never thought you would could lead to changing some of those things around, but you would never know unless you try. Class, I am more than proud of every single one of us here. Make sure you congratulate and celebrate yourselves for how far you've come. I watched the majority of you guys grow up and mature into the people that you are today, some since elementary school, and I'm glad to say that I have. You all are important, loved, and appreciated. Just remember to say thank you and read the graduation cards you received today, even when you see the money falling out. Signing out, the best class, the fresh class of 2022. Yeah. And now we would like to call up Miss Bright to accept this gift on behalf of the class of 2022. Yeah, Miss Bright! Be money. Be money, you've been a real one. Thank you. Oh, I can't close it. What should I do? Mm -hmm. Not too looking in the bag. <laughs> Thank you. Give me a hug. Thank you guys, thank you. All right, it's my turn, right? Okay. Good evening. Good evening. I say good evening. Good evening. Class of 2022, are you guys woke? Yeah. Now you get my sign. The Fresh Class of 2022. I am Seanette Bright, a Willembro High School graduate. I graduated in 1995. I am a 45-year resident of Willembro, New Jersey. A 15-year homeowner in Willembro. A mother of one son, Bryson, who is sitting in this class today. This is my 20th year as a school counselor, seventh year as a class advisor, and I stand here this evening proud to conclude my duties as the senior class advisor. Tonight is a very special night. For the past 19 years, as a Willembro High School school counselor, 
I have volunteered my time on graduation night to handle and distribute high school diplomas to the graduating seniors. And as you can imagine, I take great pride in having a distinct honor I've handed my son his high school diploma tonight. Thank you. I'm extremely, extremely excited to be here for the class of 2022, the fresh class of 2022. Seniors, when I signed up to be your advisor in 2018, you were just freshmen. I remember sitting in my office with Nasa, Gina, Thomas, Anissa, and Elizabeth as we planned out several fundraisers, activities, and class goals for the next four years. We started off strong by having pretzel sales and snack sales after school. We worked diligently with our homecoming activities, and then COVID-19, the pandemic, put us on pause. But we came back strong. As seniors, you guys came back strong. And I think we set the bar extremely high for the underclassmen to follow, right back on track with our activities. Although we had to cancel our senior class trip to Florida, we managed to have a great senior year from homecoming, running a school store, selling class shirts, waiting for the bleachers, the brand new bleachers in the gym to come for our class photo, prom at the Marion, senior night at Six Flags, and now we are here today for graduation. To the fresh class of 2022, you are definitely a group of resilient students. I watched most of you grow and transform from young ninth graders to in, into beautiful young adults. Some of you I've known since early elementary days from Twin Hills playing football and, pl and cheerleading for the Willembro Panthers, or running track for the Willembro Track Club. It's unreal that we are here tonight at graduation. It seems like we were just at 2003 or 2004 when you guys were born. <laughs> <laughs> I want to give a final shout out to my class officers. Our president, as I call your name, please stand. Just one more time, stand on up when I call your name. Our president, Gina Armstrong. Yeah, Gina! Yeah. Our vice president, Nasa Douglas. Yeah, Nasa! Yeah. Historian, Alexis Escamilla. Yeah, Alexis! Yeah. Stand up, Alexis. Our student council president, Thomas Ford. Yeah, Thomas! AKA T Money. <laughs> and student council treasurer, Anissa Lamb. Yeah. Yeah. They work hard around the clock to make things great for you guys. They beg me for things, they push me to do things I didn't want to do. <laughs> and they bought into being a part of the school community. And they did it for the class of 2022, the fresh class of 2022. So once, if we could, one more time, if we can give a round of applause for the officers. Thank you guys so much. You guys can have a seat. I'm so proud of their accomplishments and I wish you all the must, much success. I also want to acknowledge a few other students that have worked hard and helped me out this year. I want to let, thank all the guidance aides. Hold up. I want to acknowledge the guidance aides. Ma Maya, Alexandre. Yeah, Maya! <laughs> Kyla Prophet. Chris C.J. Johnson. Justin Mensa, yeah, Nadia Howard, yeah. Nolan Hatchell McNeil, yeah. Terrell Neely, yeah. Tariq Collins, yeah. Delna Tucson, yeah. Elizabeth Emika, yeah. 
Maya Potter, Robert Blamo, Aaron Argyle, Naya Gardner, and last but not least, Anias Hughes, our school photographer. Anias took pictures for us at just about any and every event. Sometimes he brought his camera and we didn't want him to, but it was always right on time. Thank you, Anias. <laughs> and to my Bryson. Oh, Sorry, Bryson. <laughs> I know you told me not to call you out tonight, but I could not get up here and acknowledge students without acknowledging you. You are such a dope human being. And I'm proud to be your mom. <laughs> Thank you for trusting me and being exactly who you are. I pray that you continue to work hard and follow your dreams, and I cannot wait to see you on the next level. Lafayette College, class of 2026, here we come. Yeah. Yeah. Seniors, this is my last announcement tonight. You officially become alumni of Willembro High School. Take that title and make us proud. Go out and change the world. I strongly encourage you to get involved with your community, whether it be on a college campus, a new career opportunity, if you move to a new town, even if you stay in the area, get involved. Please help change the climate and culture of your generation. Encourage your friends to get involved. You do not have to be a straight-A student to make a change in the world. In 2023, I'm sorry, in 2032, we're going to all meet up again and do this and have the best 10-year reunion ever. Yes. Thank you all. Thank you to the class of 2022 the fresh class of 2022. Thank you to Ms. Hippel with our building principal. Thank you to the parents and guardians for allowing me to work with your babies for the past four years. And as I always say to my students, have a great day, be blessed and prosperous. Peace. I would like to introduce the keynote speaker. Algernon Hall is the founder and visionary of the Jubilee Children Entertainment and the Dream Catchers program. Algernon is a graduate of Westside High School in Newark, New Jersey. Algernon relies early on education, positive surrounding and faith will serve as vehicles for success and will help him escape the daily dysfunction he was exposed to while growing up in East Orange and Newark, New Jersey. Mr. Hall earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Criminal Justice from New Jersey City University in 2001. And shortly thereafter, in 2004, acquired an MBA from Dowling College in Oakdale, New York. These educational experience inspired Mr. Hall to launch Character Education Empowerment Program with Jubilee Children Entertainment and Dreamcatchers. In 2008, Mr. Hall employed his talents and faith to create a children's character, Jubilee. The character has grown to be a face of character education throughout New Jersey and Pennsylvania. The program has impacted 250,000 children in various school districts from grades pre-K through fifth grade. In 2010, Mr. Hall launched the Dream Catchers program, which provides empowerment and mentorship for students in grades 6 to 12. Mr. Hall has been fe featured in numerous, including South Jersey Burlington Times, Courier Post, Philadelphia Inquirer, and the Philadelphia Tribune. In 2011, Mr. Hall was voted as South Jersey Men of the Year. Congratulations. And South Jersey Magazine for his work in the school district within the community at large. On New Year's Day 2016, Mr. Hall launched a weekly YouTube series called The Dream Series, empowering viewers to awaken their dreams and reach their fullest potential. 
Mr. Hall is a dream coach and considers himself a new wave motivator and an education with foundational mission to inspire, develop, empower people, expand their imaginations to awaken their dreams. Mr. Hall worked and provides his core belief that we are all meant to be extraordinary. I will now like to introduce Mr. Hall. What's good, Willenboro? What's good? Yay! Greetings, Superintendent Dr. Hackett, Dr. Outlaw, Superintendent Cabinet, Mrs. April Maxwell Henley, the Willenboro board members, the Honorable Ms. Kaya McIntosh, family, friends, and our 2022 graduates! Woo! You did it. You did it. Before I get into what you actually did, let me first just thank Ms. Hippowith and the administration for allowing me to continue to do what I love and that's empowering students. I feel family, I feel love, I feel warmth. Every single year I come into this school, into this district, Willenboro is truly a family and I really appreciate it. I also wanna give a special shout out to Shay Bright. I see you, uh, Ms. Bright, on Facebook. Like, you bleed red and blue. Like, for real, for real. Burl Pride. So, Burl Pride. So I just wanted to give you a shout out. As I prayed this morning, I visualized this, this evening, the acronym NOW came into my spirit. Everybody say NOW. NOW. And what NOW is, is no opportunities wasted. So I got an assignment today. I'm not going to waste this assignment. I'm going to speak life into these students and I'm gonna speak life into everybody that's witnessing, that's here at this graduation, that's watching online, and I just wanna encourage everybody to dream, to dream big. Now, you did something significant, students, that nobody can take away from you. You pushed through virtual learning, social disconnection, school closures, while focusing on academics and just straight up being a teenager. You did that. Nobody else, just you. You focus, you persevered. You've made history in the eye of an adversity within the middle of a pandemic. That's significant. You did that. Nobody can take that away from you. Continue to believe. Continue to develop your faith picture. Les Brown says that our imagination is shaped off of what we see, what we hear, and what we experience. Some of us have seen some hurtful and some damaging things. Some of us have heard some hurtful and damaging things, and some of us have experienced some hurtful and damaging things. I encourage you and I implore you today to don't let that mess with your faith picture. There's greatness. There's greatness in you. Yeah, I say greatness. You're wired to be great. Each and every one of you have specific gifts, talents, and abilities uniquely made and designed to do something significant on this thing that we call earth and this thing that we call life uniquely made. Never say I can't. Never say never. Never say it can't be done. All things are possible for those that believe. All things are possible for those that believe. You got to believe. I didn't believe in myself when I, when I went to college in 1991 at Alabama State University. And just what Ms. Bryce said, you don't have to, to be an A student to make an impact. I wasn't an A student. I was insecure. I stuttered but I've been talking in front of thousands of kids. Once I got into my lane, you unstoppable. Find your lane. Find your lane. You're wired to do something. Your gifts, your talents and ability. There's something that you do that when people look at you, they're in awe. That's your lane. There's something that when you get up and you solve mathematical equations and they say, yo, like, how did you do that? That's your lane. Some of you are gifted in the arts significantly. That's your lane. I implore you to continue to focus. You're gonna to need to tap into that same level of focus this year that you, that you did in high school, in life to achieve success and to do something significant. I tell you right now, beware of distractions. Parents say beware of distractions. Beware of distractions. Distractions can derail you and disqualify you for creating your, your greatness. And sometimes we can make mistakes, and there's mistakes that we, can, that we can get back on course, but some things that we do and some things, you know, the paths that we go down, we can't go, we can't go back. We can't get it back. 
Now, no opportunities wasted. Continue to persevere. Be responsible and take ownership in your own perseverance. You can be supported. You can be encouraged. No one can persevere on your behalf. It's personal. It's a choice. It's simply between you and you. Every morning that you get up, you make a choice. Every morning that you get up, you say that you want that dream, you got to make that choice to go get it. You can't do goofy stuff. Everybody say goofy. goofy. You can't do goofy stuff. Don't live a life of coulda, woulda, shoulda. Coulda, woulda, shoulda hurt. Coulda, woulda, shoulda will haunt you for the rest of your life. Continue to make history. You are already part of history now, but now understand that you will be faced with the choice to persevere every single day. How will you add to your history? What will you do when you fail? What will you do when people tell you that you can't? What will you do when things get difficult and unbearable? I tell my son, Avery, 13 years old, that 10% of life is what happens to you, but AV, 90 is how you respond to it. 90% is how you respond to it. You're going to get chipped up. You're going to get scraped up. You're going to fail. You're going to be embarrassed. You're going to be humiliated. But how do you respond to it? How do you respond to failure? How do you re respond to the inner dialogue that's telling you every single day that you can't? Because there's a little voice that's telling you that will come up in your heart and in your spirit and tell you that you can't. I'm telling you to ignore that spirit. I'm telling you to focus on your 90. Students, say 90. Say 90. Pressure does two things. It bursts pipes and it makes diamonds. Choose to be a diamond. Understand that in order for you to build history that you want, you're going to have to do some, make some tough decisions. You're going to have to be courageous. And at times, you're going to have to stand alone and stand for what's right and what's good for your life. Lastly, respect time. Everybody say time. time. Respect your time and the time of others. Time is the most valuable currency, not the U.S. dollar, not the euro, not the yen. Time trumps them all. You only get one shot for today. One shot. You can't get June 24th back. You get one shot today. Every thought, every action, everything that you do deliberately adds to your day, adds to your today. Make it count. Make it count, y'all. You'll make mistakes and you'll make a lot of them. Just make sure that you aren't developing a habit of making mistakes. People depending on you. People been pouring into you. People have been praying for you, speaking life into you. They're making sacrifices. They've made sacrifices for you and for your future. Don't let them down. Don't let you down. So as I close, start to work on your lens what you see. When you look in the mirror, start to work on that. I don't see where you live. I don't see your weaknesses. I don't see your mistakes. Honestly, all I see is doctors. All I see is lawyers. All I see is educators. All I see is professional athletes. Matter of fact, number one draft pick. All I see is musicians. All I see is engineers. All I see is greatness. You made history. We want you to keep making history and writing your world's best seller. Your world's best seller. The best investment that you can make is in yourself. Believe in yourself, work hard, and go out looking to write your world's best seller. Lastly, surround yourself with people that's gonna feed your dream, not eat your dream. Surround yourself with people that's going to feed your dream, not eat your dream. That's real talk. That's real talk. I wish you good health. I wish you abundance. Class 2022, let's get it! At this time, I would like to bring up our Board of Education President, Ms. April Maxwell Henley.
for some congratulatory address. Now, y'all know I feed off energy, and it's just a little bit too dead in here. Okay. I'm going to just say congratulations and sit down. All right, let's turn it up. Started at the bottom, now we're here. Started at the bottom, now we're here. All right. Let's go. Let's get it. Dang. Parents, too. Y'all should be excited. They get to work and get a paycheck, and they get out. Come on. Yes. <laughs> I cracks myself up. <laughs> uh, on behalf of the Willenboro Board of Education, <laughs> I'd like to welcome everyone to this year's commencement ceremony. Didn't know I was going to go this uh, far on the program, but it's okay. Y'all going to get this welcome, even though we at the closing. <laughs> I extend this welcome to members of our central administration, our high school administrators and faculty, your family and friends, and most importantly, to our fresh class of 2022. Give it up. Yes. I'll be brief in my comments because you don't heard it all, okay? And I know, okay, that must be my family over there, y'all. Y'all got to excuse them. <laughs> I'll be brief in my remarks, for I know that the longer I speak, the more your thoughts will wander towards the plans you have for the rest of the evening. You know the celebrations you all so richly deserve, right? Yes. I want to leave you with this poem written by Langston Hughes, entitled, Live Your Creed. I'd rather see a sermon than to hear one any day. I'd rather walk with me than just to show the way. The eye is a better pupil and more willing than the ear. Advice may be misleading, but examples are very clear. And the very best of teachers are the ones who live their creed. For to see good put into action is what everybody needs. I can soon learn to do it if you let me see it done. I can watch your hand in motion but your tongue too fast may run. And the lectures you deliver may be very fond and true, but I'd rather get my lessons by observing what you do. For I may misunderstand you and the fond advice you give, but there's no misunderstanding how you act and how you live. On behalf of the Willenboro Board of Education, I'd like to congratulate you, you, and you, and your families, and I wish you the best of luck going forward. And to my son, my baby, Tony Henley, the second, TJ Toastmoney. Hey! If I never said it to you before, your mama proud of you, because guess what? You did that by yourself. May God bless each and every one of you. May heaven smile upon you. I love you, and ain't nothing you can do about it. Boop! Check it out. At this time, I would like to bring our superintendent of schools for her superintendent address, Dr. Neely Hackett. Good evening, everyone. I would love to know who put me on this spot in the program. I'm following behind two energetic speakers, and I'm the last thing before the diploma. So this is a tough spot, so I will be very quick, I promise you. <laughs> Class of 2022, you look amazing. Congratulations. Give yourselves a round of applause. Good evening to Mayor McIntosh and our township manager, our board president and board members, Ms. Hippowith and the entire high school staff, superintendent's cabinet, district administrators, and of course to Ms. Bright. Good evening to our parents, our guardians, our families, and I'd like to thank you for allowing the Willenboro Public Schools to educate your child. I greet you this evening with the pride and enthusiasm that this moment brings out in each and every one of us. Because this moment 
we transition our high school students to college and career. Good evening to the amazing, the talented, the beautiful, the strong, and the resilient students of the class of 2022. Give yourselves a round of applause. One of my heroes, Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Let me say that one more time because Ms. Bright mentioned changing the world. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Class of 2022, are you ready to change the world? E yes, you are, absolutely. Each of you can most certainly change the world for the better. You have education in one hand and you have resilience in the other hand. Resilience is defined as the ability to bounce back from situations that involve stress, chaos, and changing circumstances. So let's think about those three. Stress, chaos, and changing circumstances. These certainly define your 10th, 11th, and 12th grade years. After experiencing the past two years, you have more power than you can imagine. You have education, and you have the ability to overcome any obstacle put before you. You have learned to never, ever let failure define your destiny. You learned how to stand up, brush it off, and keep on moving. So class of 2022, are you ready to change the world? Absolutely. Now there is one more piece that goes along with education and resilience, and that's none other than hard work. You have to face any task, any assignment, any job with the will to do your very best at whatever you do. It's that inner strength that's going to help you change the world. If work starts at 8 o'clock, be there by 7. When your professor tells you to write a three-page minimum essay, please write a four or five page. Strive to go beyond expectations, beyond the dreaded minimum. There's nothing average about you, so don't be average. Kobe Bryant was one of the best basketball players of all times. He passed away two months before we closed this uh, district for the pandemic in your 10th grade year. We can learn so much from Kobe Bryant's work ethic. Although he was one of the best basketball players of all times, he constantly worked to make himself better and better each and every day. When his teammates were sleeping, he was in the um, court practicing. When practice was over, he continued to practice. When he won a game, after the game was over, he went to the gym. When he lost the game, after the game was over, he went to the gym. He never settled for anything less than his very best. So class of 2022, education plus resilience sprinkled with hard work, you will change the world a world that so desperately needs you. It needs you to set laws that will help everyone to engage in the fabric of this country. It needs you to help find the cures for cancer and diabetes. It needs you to protect our citizens, protect our youth, and help those in need. So I ask you, class of 2022, are you ready? Because I believe that you are ready. So let's go and let's show the world what Willingboro High School is all about. You are ready, you are ready, you are ready. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> At this time, I get the honor of um, preparing for the presentation of the class of 2022. But before I do that, I do have a brief message that I would like to send to the fresh class of 2022. Through the COVID pandemic at, and after spending half of your high school career on remote instruction, you made it. In the words of Maya Angelou, you may encounter many defeats, but you must not be defeated and undefeated, that is you. The pandemic did not allow us to celebrate many things that we used to take for granted. It is with great joy that I stand here tonight to honor the per perseverance you have all shown during what we remembered as one of the frightening times in the history of the world. The fact that you had 
to overcome obstacles created by the pandemic is a testimony to your family, school, and yourself. I cannot say it enough. It is an honor to be here tonight to celebrate the commencement of the Willenborough High School Fresh Class of 2022, who, had, who I've had the pleasure to lead and learn with this school year. This special occasion, when you reflect upon the roads that you have traveled and the people and experience in which you've helped shape you. It is also an ideal time to say thank you to those who have influenced your success and set your sights on your future. Willenborough is blessed to have a dynamic and progressive Board of Education and Administrative staff. Increasing the success of our students is their priority. Because of their focus on ever-changing advances in technology as well as, as well as global expectation to constantly improve our education paradigm and academic opportunities, graduates of the senior class are reaping the benefits of this excellent educational program. Our students are prepared for the college experience and the college expectations, which are waiting for their next step. Seniors. You have been instructed and inspired by dedicated and supportive teachers. They have helped to mold and shape your decision. They have encouraged you on to your pathway to success. Willenborough teachers have gone the distance with you. However, remember, it is you that must endure and be in, in control of your destiny. Building relationships is an essential part of one's success and happiness. Take time to say thank you and keep in contact with the professionals who have gone and in many cases will continue to go the distance with you as you achieve your professional and personal goals. Thank you to all the parents and guardians who have been actively supporting, your, supporting and guiding your graduate educational pursuit. It is by your participation and contrib contribution that your child's educational goals our best to achieve. We are so grateful for you. Seniors, this is your day. You have gone the distance and I commend you. You are an outstanding group who have endured some personal losses, but the achievements have far outnumbered the setback. It was the great Muhammad Ali who once said, I hated every minute of training, but I said, don't quit. Suffer now and live in, if you believe in yourself and don't give up on your dream and aspiration. Go the distance and complete your journey. Along the road, use the obstacles that you face as an opportunity to move closer to the type of life which you desire. Remember, pause, reflect, and correct your actions. For only then, you, then will you reach your goals. I say to you all, Instruction leads to your promotion. Don't be afraid to ask questions and continue to pursue knowledge. The world is your classroom. Feed your appetite for success, keep reading, and be imaginative. Ultimately, I would like you to imagine the bitter sweet taste of your future success, much like what you are experiencing on this remarkable evening. Envision your dream, go the distance, and finish your journey. It was Olympic medalist Jesse Owens who once said, we all have dreams, but in order to make dreams come into reality, it takes an awful lot of determination, dedication, self-discipline, and effort. It has been a pleasure and an honor to lead you and learn with you during your journey throughout the years of Willenborough High School. I wish you peace, joy, and success in your future endeavors. To the class of 2022, first class of 2022, you have gone the distance. Now with compassion, focus, and commitment, I charge you to finish your journey well and stay strong. Thank you. Now is the bitter moment when you may commence into your future. To the Willenborough Board of Education, Dr. Hackett, Superintendent of Schools, Superintendent Can Can Cabinet, I, Teresa Hipworth, this is to certify you that the class of 2022, you have met all requirements of the NJSA 18A.7C-1 
NJAC 68-4.2 and Willenboro Township Board of Education Policy 6146 and is hereby awarded this diploma given at Willenboro, New Jersey this June 24, 2022. Before we begin with our assistant principals calling the names of the graduates, I would like to call Ms. Shawnette Bright, Ms. April Maxwell Henley, and Ms. Daisy Maxwell Cisse to the stage to allow them to present their child with their diploma. Bryson Bright, Andrew Cisse, and Tony Henley II. And now for the awarding of the diplomas presented by Mr. Land, Willenboro High School Assistant Principal, Leon Owen, Athletic Director. All right, the moment you've been waiting for. Mesa Victoria Johanna Douglas. Delna Toussaint. Gina Armstrong. Thomas Henry Ford IV. Chanel Abreu. Maya Alex And. Saskia Alexis. Tamia Anderson. Navier Anthony. <laughs> Elijah Arab. Aaron Argyle. Elizabeth Arroyo. Tayshawn Atwood. Yeah. Yeah. Did you come to the 
next one, right? He's not here. Juan Brito. Dekel Brothers. Sylvia Brown. Go, Sylvia. Vinci Cadet. Andrew Campbell. Crystal Cardo. Adam Cardo. Charity Chapman. All right, Charity. Get that picture. Hold on. Jacqueline Charles. Cesar Chorinos Gardado. Samuel Coleman. Tariq Collins. Collier Conte. D'Angelo Cook. Jada Damon. Go, Jada! Isaiah DeShields. Tyrese Edwards. Keyshawn Ellerby. Elizabeth Emika. Alexis Marie Escamilla. Dominic Fluellen Smith. Zamira Foreman. Nicholas Forsyth. Hold on, hold on. Wait for your picture. Just stay right there. Y'all just moving too fast. Hold on. Ashana Fowler. Gardner. <laughs> Brian Gary. <laughs> Woodmire Geralt. Jasir Goldsmith. Yasmin Aliyah Gonzalez. Okay, Anthony Gordon. Monica Grady. Jonathan Gregg. 
Hasim Greshin. Jasmine Griffin. Dynasty Hamilton. Tion Hawk. Amira Harple. Jalea Harris. Elijah Harris. Moses Harris. Tashawn Harris. Nasira Harris Stockling. Nolan Hatchell McNeil. Nehemiah Heddington. Samaj Hicks. Kiera Holmes. Look up, Shadow. Nadia Kiara Howard. Anias Alexander Hughes. Delight Iwoari. Christopher Johnson. Jonas Johnson. Okay, Jonas. Samaya Jordan. Princess Carmbe. Kayla Michelle Keys. Ruby King. Anissa Lamb. Ayana Lane. Take it, Joshua Laurie. Destiny Leach. Yes, Destiny. Sakaya Lewis. Naeem Lewis Foster. Yeah. Edouard Martinez. Woo. 
Abimelech Matos Garcia. Jovian McCarthy. Takaya McKinney. Joel McMillan. Zaire McNeil. Gabriella McWilliams. Justin Mensa. Quinesia Mizet. Quali Mizet. Amber Monroe. Sean Kashmir Moore. Jaron Myers. Noah Nanku. Terrell Neely. Emmanuel Nkwola. Yeah. Okay, okay. Elmera Ochoa. Lasavion Patterson. Justin Perry. <laughs> Jordan Payette. <laughs> Justin Payette. <laughs> Nick Partillo. Rudin Prevost. <laughs> Kyla Prophet. <laughs> Griselli Quesada Perez. Joshua Ramsadar. Harris Rathor. Ayana Richardson. Elena Robinson. <laughs> Ramira Rogers. <laughs> Najir Russell. Ibrahima Saul. 
Mamadou Saul. <laughs> Bianca Santos. <laughs> Messiah Shabazz. Nazir Kid. Zonaya Sherman. Desiree Simmons. Yasmin Smith. Arnold Sorto. Javion Turner. Amishka Noeles Valdez Barrientos. Zamir Walker Foreman. Thomas Watkins. Sean Watson. Shannon Way. Alex Weah. Devante Williams. <laughs> Eric Wilson. Part two, Eric. Jaheem Wright. Nazir Wright. Sierra Eunice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2022, I present to you Miss Gina Armstrong for your tassel turn. Class of 2022, please rise and proceed to turn your tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations, class of 2022, 2K22, we out of here.